So I've got a few questions. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying adding these in now. Yeah. Just a few. If you Just guys have any questions, please let us know. Two or three and they, you know, we, we can talk about them for a while. Yeah. And then go through the comments and find ones that you like and then upvote them. And then we'll go and like heart them and that. Uh, so this first one, nothing to do with that religion here, but uh, God is retiring. Yeah. Uh, this is this is considering there's a god, just keeping it all on a level playing field. Yep. And ask you to permanently replace him. What's are we are we assuming that like God is all powerful? Yeah, like, we're, we're assuming can... you know Bruce Almighty. Yeah, yeah. That, like, this is not like a religion debate. We just literally go and say if there was a god that was like literally up there in the clouds that could do anything. Yeah, they were like, we do what I want. Okay, I control everything. Yeah, so it's like this person, the person playing Sims. Okay. The person playing our Sims. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the first... Okay, let me, let me say it again now we've established yep. it. Uh, god is retiring and asks you to permanently replace him. What is the first thing you do as the new god? Now, do you want a funny answer or a serious answer? I want a funny one because let's let's just go back to Bruce Almighty. Okay, I was going to say serious answer, I'd cure cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll just, <laughs> just fix everything that's wrong. Yeah. But as we saw in Bruce Almighty, it doesn't go that way. You know, he tries to answer everything and he answers one thing and it then ruins the other thing. True. So I think we answer this on funny. Okay. I obviously we would we'll stop all the fires, we'll stop all the yeah, all the natural causes. We'll just stop that. We we'll fix everything. I would create a disease <laughs> that makes people <laughs> that walk slowly fall over. <laughs> Wait. No, you have to be more specific. If you are walking less than three miles an hour, if you're under the age of fifty, you have to fall over. You fall over constantly. Like no, no one can balance while that going that people slow. People walking slowly is not the annoying part. It's when they stop, that's the annoying part. No, people walking slow. Yesterday I was walking in the tube. Yeah. Well, I was walking, whatever. To the tube. To the tube. <laughs> She's and just pacing up and there down. There was about nine people in front of me all walking incredibly slowly, but they spread. Oh, yeah, so I couldn't no, even I get through. Yeah, get and then I, I eventually found a little gap, kind of squeezed through. then they through, look at you like you're rude. And then they look, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I was there like, one day God's going to make this disease. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll all be, I'll be laughing at you and you fall over. And then the next day I ask you this question. <laughs> uh, what, what would, would I do? do? Yeah, what I, I'm thinking... I would make it so that every single goal that Forrest concede gets called back, gets looked at on VAR and gets undone. <laughs> so the VAR screen is just like them with a stretched arm over the line. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, hold that on, is no, a no, very no. selfish reason. No, I want to be specific. I want to be specific. So, hey, hold on. Mine is helping all fast walkers. <laughs> Mine's helping all forest fans. That's There's a lot of, of you, you know. There That's are a lot six of, us. of you. There's more <laughs> fast walkers. So, to clarify, what I want to say is, I want to say that not not if if they score, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, you know the ones that you know, I know. I know every goal is checked on VAR. We don't have it in the championship, so first of all, it's not even. Uh, okay, I'm, 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 yeah. Why is this a thing? There is a VAR in the championship. It's, it's needed, man. It is needed. You know. Okay, so I know it's needed. Ref, uh, we handball, lost one nil, yeah. bro. But the referees in championships are awful. Yeah, and I don't even. Bro, think let's it, not get into a football debate. <laughs> I want to go there real quick because I think the it's not we do have some Premier League referees in the Championship, but I think what it is is you know because it's not um, documented as, as much. I feel like there's less pressure on the referees, so they can just they can like make the decision, and it's not going to be like obviously yeah there's highlights and stuff, but no one sits there for 20 minutes after the game debating it. So I, I truly do think that because there's less uh, there's less pressure on the refs. Pressure they don't yeah, yeah they don't get awful, slated as much. I'm, I'm going Forest week in week out. There's some awful decisions like like the other, the other week Forest literally passed uh, the, the opponent passed the ball back to the to their keeper and he picked it up. Like and it wasn't even like you know, sometimes the referees let let them off, but it wasn't. It was he was in danger. Our our striker was about to close him down. He passed it back to his keeper and he picked it up. Everyone's like, "What's going on?" Uh, but no, to clarify what I meant, like every goal that is like is like they're unsure on would be given our way. Okay, you know what I'm saying how sick would that be though? That'd be sick. It'd be so minor though. <laughs> that's like that's like six, like five goals a season max. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't think of it. <laughs> I didn't really think of it before beforehand. So I just made it up. <laughs> Actually, I'd I'd cure baldness. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but that's not funny. It's kind of funny, <laughs> except I'd I'd make certain people be bald. <laughs> <laughs> like who? <laughs> Your mum. <laughs> Why would I make my mum bald? That's just funny, isn't it? Make Theo Baker bald. <laughs> that's cruel. Just, just him. That's so cruel. Just he's, him. he's gone. He's made steps to undo that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyone who gets a higher chance plant, I'll make them bald again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, obviously the real answer is we would just solve everything that's wrong with the world. Yeah. But we, we'll be there forever though because there's too much stuff. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Here, here we go. Here we go. This is an interesting one. Okay. I, I said, I've told Simon this one already, but it's a very weird one. But you are given a baby on your 21st birthday. The child turns out to be you as a baby. 
Raising him won't change your life, only his. How would you raise this child to give it a better life than the one you have? Firstly, raising him would change my life because I'd now be raising a baby. I know, that's what, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I'd raise them the same way my parents raised me. You wouldn't, know. Well, I mean, I wouldn't because it's me. It's not them. Yeah, exactly. But I'm saying, like, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Know. I mean, one thing I'd do, one thing I'd do different. So it's, is it how, how would you raise them differently? Not how would you raise them? Because that's a very, very, very long winded question. How would you raise a child to give them a better life than the one you have? I mean, I'd raise them the same way I was raised, but the only changes I'd make. Yeah. I think I'd be a lot stricter on football. Yeah. I'd make my kid play a lot more and train a lot more. Yeah. Uh, Cause my parents like, my parents like football but they're not like me. I'm in like into football kind of thing. Mm. The other thing is I would film a lot more of their life. And I don't mean to oh, put yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, true. I yeah, just yeah. mean I would be filming and taking pictures and stuff. Oh yeah. Would, nonstop. One thing I would change is my, my parents used to do that. My, my dad used to film a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of footage, but I still feel like there's not enough. What, what I think we do film, we don't film, we, we used to film a lot better. So we, we film more now, right? On our phones. But what I don't think we do enough is we don't, we don't just film and leave the camera on. When when you when we were younger, my dad we had a, got a new camera for like Christmas or something. He would just film forever, like it was it was boring. Yeah, most boring stuff. But now we're like, oh, this is sick. Yeah. Whereas now we all film like birthdays or like you know things that are cool. But we won't just sit there and just record. Like there's some weird there's some footage of us as, us as, as like kids. It's not not in a bad way, by the way. It's just like family like stuff. We just it's just recording the room. It's gas. Yeah, no, we have that. It's like it's like um, I'll play. I'll be playing with the dog when I'm like five. Yeah, and it's like an hour long. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm like. There's there's no point in this, no. but I don't have that. Like my football matches, for example, like Chris MD has all his football matches recorded. Oh, that's sick. His dad recorded like every game that's and amazing. stuff like that. I'd love that. Yeah. And I have like, I also hated videos and pictures when I was younger. So yeah. that is one thing why I didn't have them. But you, you, you would tell yourself, enjoy the photos because then you can look back on them. Yeah. I'd say like, trust me. Yeah. Like this is going to be YouTube content for years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that. Just, 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 you know, just to it'd be sick on. to have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think recently I went, but I got a device where I could put all the old tapes onto my computer. So I like digitize a lot of them, but I'm still half away. I need to finish the rest of the half. But they got muddled up. All the tapes have no like words on them. Uh, okay. So now I don't know. I'm it's gonna take me a long time to get them back. Um, but yeah, co sorry. Continue. Is that the main um, thing you would do? The football, football, and like filming and pictures and stuff. Yeah, I think that is. I think that's that's like the main thing. The one funny answer is I would, uh, you know, those videos where it's like I took a picture every day for oh, ten years. Yeah, you do. That. I'd be like, you're doing this <laughs> <laughs> every day when you get home from school, you're taking one picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, apart from that, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I would, how I'd raise them. I might make them go to the gym a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, for sure, I'd probably do that. I think I, I would that's say all, that's all the that's all the obvious. That's like the New Year's resolutions. Yeah, it? Like, it's true. It's a, it's a weird question, but it's just a fun little one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like there's stuff like the gym and stuff like that. That's yeah. like it's like oh, I'm gonna make my kid go to the gym. It's like, but then but then he would. What want, if they don't want to? Yeah, and so obviously your parents probably said to you maybe once like, oh, maybe you want to work out. No, yeah. they didn't. Oh, okay, <laughs> but yeah, that'd be that'd be kind of offensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but maybe you should um work out, Simon. <laughs> and they're like. <laughs> But you wouldn't want it. It's, it's, it's hard to like parent the way you'd want to parent yourself because obviously you're a kid then. It's, it's yeah, hard. You don't to, know the same. Yeah, yeah. It, it's hard to raise kids. Uh, I think I would like I would make, I would praise I would praise me less. I think my parents would always like be really like oh like oh well done. But I'm like I think it's better to be harder on them so you work harder. It is, but I, I thought I was really smart. My mum used to be like oh you're so smart. What if you neglect your parents because of that? Like what if you're one oh, of those yeah. people that when you're like I wish you push twenty. Me more. No, no. no if, Sorry, I wish if, you praised me more. Yeah, like you're kind of there, like uh, whenever I did anything good, my my parents never even said it's that. Hard on, yeah, because to be fair, the, the best way the best way for you to learn is by them not over praising you and by being hard yeah, on you. But then you could you, at certain point. you could then feel like you're being like overshadowed by them. Yeah. It's hard on, you know, raising a kid like it's, it's like, do you want your kid to like you, or do you want your kid to like have the best life for itself? But you're a parent, not a not a friend. True. But some people are both. Some people are both. Yeah, but yeah. My, yo, my dad's like my best friend. Swear down. That's what I mean, like. Me and my dad, when I was younger, I had so many arguments with him. For real? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, it's nah, because so I was yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. And you don't when you're a kid, you don't understand work properly. Yeah. As soon as I started doing YouTube and I started actually like I put my mind to something and worked. Yeah. I know everyone's gonna be like, YouTube's not real work though. But yeah. as yeah. soon as I started doing that, I found like an unbelievable amount of new respect. Oh yeah. And now, yeah, now my dad is like one of my 
Not my best mate. Sorry, dad. <laughs> no, he's wow. up there. He's up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's just, it just depends what, it, like, obviously not everyone's dad will be their best friend, but it just depends on, like, what, you, what you're into together, you know, like, yeah. like, me, like, that's why I enjoy going back for Forest. It's just loads of fun just going back with my dad. Um, but now, yeah, I would definitely pray for myself a little bit less and I would, um, to be fair, they did let, they did, or they always really did let me, like, um, I was going to say maybe push me more in school, but they did push me more in school. And I didn't yeah. do school work because I was doing that's stuff thing, like that's exactly the same as me. My parents pushed me; I just didn't do it. Yeah, but then, but then I was then I was doing like YouTube and music and that, and they wouldn't make me stop doing that music and YouTube stuff. And if they did, I wouldn't be here now. So I'm kind of glad that they actually did, you know, allow me to. They supported me a lot when I was I was growing up. Just like it's because I, I think it's because I was like they were they were actually I was I was pretty good with what I was doing. You know, I was I was not like oh mom, I want to be a rapper, and then like, I showed the music and it was like trash. Like they uh, they probably could hear like oh this is kind of decent. You know, keep yeah. going. <laughs> So one thing I actually, I don't know if you ever saw Billie Eilish's um, yeah, karaoke. Yeah. Oh, thing, no. One thing from that, that I was like, actually, I really like that. Is obviously you have, kids all have bedtimes. Yeah. So their thing, she had a rule at home that was, you can stay up as long as you want. Right. As long as you're doing music. So oh. like, if say her bedtime is 10. <laughs> yeah. But she's playing the piano or yeah. writing a song. She can stay up as long as she's doing that. Yeah. I think I... I think I'd employ that, like with your own kid or with yeah. yourself as a kid. Yeah, I would do that. as that's, long that's as they point, are doing actually. something that is like beneficial. Yeah, like, if yeah. they are playing, not watching Netflix. Yeah, if they're watching Netflix or ah, but if gaming FIFA, is becoming but, it's now becoming a sport. Yeah, you know? bro, if they're playing yeah. FIFA to a professional level, yeah, 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 and yeah. they're like, I want to be a professional gamer. Bro, our kids, that, you know our kids, you know when our kids are growing up, it will be a reality. I know it is now, I know esports is a thing, but when they're growing up, it will be literally like they're growing It'll up to play football. Olympics have you seen that in university now in America, they actually have like, it's a sport. Yeah. In there, that's sick, you know. But that's what I mean, I'd have that, like if they're, if they're literally there like, oh, they're just playing like rivals. I'm yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, like, yeah, no. Yeah. But if they're, if they're then doing like, you know, qualifiers or something, I'd be like, go for it. This could be your career. You're there with your kid like, yo, have you done weekend league yet? <laughs> no, then I'm just chilling. Like, get on your PS4 now. <laughs> no, that's what, that's then, what, then bro, go to bed. That's what it would like for our kids. But they'll then, like, then they go to bed at that point. No, 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 no. Our kid would be like, I'm like, what, what, what are you doing to me? He's like, oh, I thought I'd just read. Get off the book. <laughs> get on Fortnite, man. Fortnite, Show me those 90s. <laughs> that's just about <laughs> yeah. to say. It's, it's like, I don't want to go outside. Like, no, you will not go outside. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. Um, yeah, I think that's like a quite a good. That's a really good thing because to be fair, like a lot of the times my dad would catch me like being awake when I was a kid, like three in the morning. But to be fair, I was like updating my MySpace profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Dad, no, I'm actually working, bro. Well, that's the thing. I've always been like a night owl, yeah. and there was there was a period where I started YouTube, and I was I then started using you know twelve till five a.m. to make videos. Yeah, yeah. And my mum didn't normally question it. Like every now and then, if I was being really loud, she yeah, something not loud, yeah. But she wouldn't like come in and go like it's 5 a.m like you need to sleep <laughs> yeah yeah because it's like it was all beneficial whereas before i would stay out till 5 a.m literally just i don't know like facebook yeah refresh yeah, yeah. watching netflix. youtube refresh yeah man but um <laughs> well netflix wasn't about really at that point no, yeah true <laughs> it, well, it was but it was the disc one do you remember, yeah, remember yeah. love film yes that was, that was our had, version yeah. of netflix we used to, i used to use that i used to yeah, get dvds that. i used to what, what i used to love to be fair i used to love going to blockbuster and just standing there and being like oh what do we watch yeah, I to find it. That was. Sick. Um, I was gonna say. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it was. It's gone. It's gone. That's cool. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> cool story, bro. All right. Well, I think that's yeah. That question done. Yeah. You, you got, one, got one more. Yeah, I got. I got one saved. Oh, um, we've been good. It doesn't I, say. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how you read this. It's because I usually hold on. Randolph has it up on the laptop. Bro, where's my mouth? Oh, there it is. I don't know how he really does it. Like, I don't know what you're reading. Here, look here. Where? One hour. Uh, one hour 27. Oh, so it just starts at one? Yeah, it starts at one. So it, it says now two hours 30, but it means one hour 30. Okay, okay. But when you start a new pro uh, a new project, it goes back to a different view. Okay. But the last few ones, I've had it saved as a preset. So anyway, anyway, okay. Oh, we had this one, but we might do this one another time. Okay, and then don't do that one. Yeah, it was <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know what you told me. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a question, but I have some facts. Okay. These are, the, I saw these on Reddit, and these were facts for a four-year-old. Facts for a four-year-old. Okay. But we ain't that smart in like... <laughs> we ain't that smart. <laughs> so I'm telling you these facts. Okay. okay. Right. So I'm going to tell you if I know any of them. Pineapples used to be so expensive that people would rent them as a centerpiece for their party. You sure these are real facts? Yeah. Who would, not, who would make that up? People that <laughs> know that people like you will believe it. <laughs> That's interesting though if it's true. If it's true. I think it's true. Come on, are, man. Are you sure these are facts? Yeah. Okay, read the next one. 
I think it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one? Scotland's national animal is a unicorn. Just Google that. I feel like Scotland's... I feel like that actually might be true, you know. I'm Googling Scotland's national animal. Oh, it's a unicorn. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I've heard that one. Oh, okay. Okay, moving on then. Okay. A single strand of spaghetti is a spaghetto. Type in spaghetto. <laughs> we're checking, the, we're fact checking. Yeah, noun, spaghetto. Oh my God. These are all true. At birth, a baby panda is smaller than a mouse. I'll get, I'll, that makes sense though. Damn. No, actually mice are, sm mice are small. Depends what type of mouse, right? It's still like, you know, this big. Mm, yeah. That's tiny panda. That's mad. Yeah. That's like a, a gummy bear. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love a gummy bear. It actually looked like one too. Does JJF still have loads love, love of sweets? I don't think so. Damn it. <laughs> um, violin bows are usually made from horse hair. I think I knew that one. I think I knew that. I'd heard yeah. that before. Yeah. Played the violin when I was younger. The color red doesn't make bulls angry. They're colorblind. I've heard that before. What probably makes bulls mad is the guy stood there like tempted. It's like waving it. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure they, yeah. they like starve them and stuff, don't they? To make them mad beforehand. Yeah. And then make them angry. That's a stupid sport, isn't it? It is. It's Herring not sport. Yeah, it's not sport. Well, it's a stupid thing. Herringfish communicate with flatulence. They fart. Is that what flatulence means? Like, yeah. Or Damn. gas. Imagine. Har bit... Barry, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's like Harry. Harry talks through farts. <laughs> cool, cool joke, bro. Okay. Thanks. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was saying cool joke to Barry, but as Harry, you said your joke. <laughs> Harry talks through farts, you went cool joke, bro. <laughs> sorry. Uh, it snows metal on planet Venus. That is sick. Didn't Toby say it, it snows diamonds? Somewhere? Yeah, I've heard that. I've, I've heard the diamonds one before. <laughs> Imagine like we, in like 2030, we're living in, well, sorry, no. In like 3000, we're living in on Venus. I mean, I don't think we'll be about then. No, I know. Like, so we as humans. And then like the, 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 uh, the weatherman will be like, okay, so, uh, <laughs> you know, in, uh, in Va Vandon, which is the Venus version of London. Sure. We're going to have, uh, you know, 23 degrees today, but it is going to rain metal. So I would suggest stay, <laughs> stay inside. Or take a very strong umbrella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, um, you see the, the other day there was, what do you call it? Where it's like ice, hail. Hail. There was hail. I ice. Forgot. <laughs> there was hail falling and it was like big chunks yeah, of hail. Yeah, yeah, they can be big. But it was like the film, was it, is the film called 2020? Is that, no. I haven't seen that. The Day After Tomorrow. Day After Tomorrow, where it starts like, I haven't seen it. That's, that's that. I think I saw... There's a scene in that where hail comes down and they're like the size of tennis balls. Did you ever download a film when you were younger and it wasn't finished yet? No. <laughs> I saw. I remember seeing Wolverine Origins. Remember that one? Yeah. It wasn't finished. Bro, so like they're on a plane, right? What? They're on a plane. <laughs> bro, and it was just, it was just a plane in, with a green screen behind it. It wasn't finished yet. It's a bit weird. I, honestly... Uh, it was so funny. And like, they would just be talking in a room and just gr like gray, like, like, you know, like the gamma. You, you weren't watching like behind the scenes. Nah, nah, bro. It was legit because it was a film. It was the film. Oh but it was just not finished yet. It was weird. Like no CGI. <laughs> that's, the, that's the first and last time I ever watched like a pirated <laughs> video. Uh, garlic attracts leeches, which I mean, I didn't know that, but I mean, I didn't leeches do like anything, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. In 1992, I heard this one, a, a shipping crate full of 28,000 rubber ducks fell off a ship. They kept washing up for years. I th that sounds like a pun. No, it's not a pun, but they actually <laughs> did that. They actually did that on purpose to check tides and to check like the direction of which way the sea goes. So if you found one, I think if you found one and then gave it back, you would get like a you get like money, money or something. Because uh. they, they were trying to figure out like where would they go. Uh. Uh, imagine that like, you're, just, you're just in the sea and it's like a rubber duck. You're like, what the hell? 300 rubber ducks yeah, just I'm, come towards you and you're like, an army! <laughs> I've not seen this species before. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't on Blue Planet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if they did a blue planet of like fake animals. Yeah, like rubber ducks. And <laughs> yeah. They put like a stick and they're like the stick insect. You yeah. guys should do like a second channel, main channel video that is called like Blue Sideman or something. And it, it, you get a voice talking over and just describing like you guys doing different things. Yeah, we should hire hire a voice actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do like David Attenborough style. That would be sick, you know. Like Harry, Harry's there just like playing football or something. It's like, here, here is a wild Harry. It's <laughs> like the wild Harry. <laughs> Speaks to his friend through flatulence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be really cool. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Um, is that is that all the facts? Yes, yeah, I've got. I've got other one that we're going to talk about. We'll do that for the future. Okay. Well, um, yeah, that's it for today. We are going to film another one tomorrow, as we said, for next week. Yeah. I'm still surprised we're doing this every week. I know we've smashed it. We're doing really well. And as we said, feel free to check out Randolph's uh, Going Clear. Yeah. So it go comes to out in two days. Go to fanlink dot two fanlink dot slash Going Clear, and it'll take you to uh, the website to pre-order. 
Uh, I'll well, put, it'll we'll, probably be out if you're listening to this two days after. As yeah, well. yeah. We'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, but yeah, go, also, go through Also, JJ's it. song with Trippy Red. Yep. And of course, Postmates. Yes, check out Postmates. Link in the description as well. Go to Postmates, uh, the app, and use the code What's Good for a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars, man. That's crazy. Hundred. That's mad. That's crazy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace. That's my. That's my word. I know. Say something. Say see ya. Bye. <laughs>